Hey, this is Chantal Girardi from Online Business Marketing, and today we're going to be talking about how you can create an annual content marketing plan. Before you even get into your year, you need to have an overall strategy, you have to have decided on your campaigns, and you've got to decide on your content. But before we get into that, I really want you to think about this thing that really plays on my mind on an ongoing basis, and it's something that I'm really passionate about. You work to live, you do not live to work. So my goal for you as always is to make sure that if you get the basics right when it comes to your, your marketing and your marketing strategy, you can then be less stressed, your days can be better managed, um, and you can live happily ever after with your marketing actually being meaningful. So before we start, I think it's important for us to work out how do we want to have our ideal day? So for our online guest today, they've been given a, a workbook and in the workbook, there is a, a planner, a, a daily planner where you can literally map out your Id ideal day because it's important that even on, on a Monday to Friday, it's important that you fill your days with tasks that are personally fulfilling as well as include all the necessary business stuff that you need. It's important that it includes happiness and joy um, along with all the business tasks that you need to do. Therefore, the more you plan and the more productive you are at following your plan, the more efficient you're going to be, but you're also going to have long-term satisfaction. It is absolutely paramount for you to um, make sure that your planning has a strategy and that you're consistent with your content creation. It is the only way that you'll stay ahead in the industry. The amount of people that contact me literally a week before Black Friday and say they want to map out a campaign is insane. The amount of people the day before a Black Friday campaign contact me and say they want to map out a, a campaign is insane. And the reality is it's simply not going to work. So staying on top of your content, staying on top of your campaigns is going to give you a level of confidence inside your business, but it's going to make sure that you are well planned and prepared and therefore execute your marketing plan well. And it'll give you the necessary time to be able to make sure that you are actually then getting, um, getting the sales that you want from your marketing. So number one, we're going to start with planning your ideal day. So literally go and get your ideal day planner. I mean, you can get them off Canva. You can create your own one. And for me, it's around, you know, I wake up at five o'clock in the morning. So I map mine out in half hour gaps. So five o'clock, 5.30, 5.30, 6, 6 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I go through and I do it in, in half hour blocks. Now I do it in half hour blocks because I find that an hour sometimes can be too long for some activities. So for example, activities like um, your lunch break for example. And in fact, the busier you get, the more you'll actually start then to break your ideal day up into 15 minute seg segments, believe it or not. Um, it sounds weird, but the, the more you get into this and the more you do this, the more that you'll see that you'll actually be able to condense things because you're so productive and efficient into 15 minute blocks as well, which in essence gives you more time. So in order to plan your ideal day, you need to look at the activities that bring you joy and fulfillment outside of work, things that you need to do that are going to lift up your spirit and make you be a better driver inside your business. So for me, there's a lot of things, okay? Before my day even starts, there is meditation, there is affirmations, there is journaling, there is exercise, um, there is planning my day. These are all the things that happen before I even start my nine o'clock in the morning. And they're the things that, that bring me joy. So what that often means is my day won't start at nine o'clock. It may have to start at 9.30 or at 10 o'clock. But that's okay because I know that I'm going to be a better business owner and I'm going to be more productive because I've now got me in good working order before that happens. So I make sure that the things that need to happen are already in my day. So 5, 5.30, 6, 6.37, I put all of those activities into my diary because you know what I say, unless it's in your diary, it's not going to happen. And that's the truth. If it's not in your diary, it won't happen. If your exercise is not in there, it's not going to happen. If your meditation is not in there, it's not going to happen. So make sure it's all in your diary. Um, and then make sure that during the course of the day, and this is something I never used to do, I used to pack my day in and there wouldn't be time for lunch. So now I put in all the tasks that I need to do, but I make sure that I allocate 
you know, um, if I've got like three hour strategy sessions, I will, I'll make sure then that I've got a significant lunch break afterwards, because I'm going to be no good to the rest of my business and the rest of my clients if I don't have that break. So I'll use that lunch break to go and have lunch, sit outside um, and do whatever it is I need to do in order to re-energize myself. Um, and I make sure that those are inside my diary as well. And of course, I, I color code um, everything. Um, and for our live attendees at the end of today's session, I'm going to literally show you um, my annual calendar. I will show you my monthly calendars and how I do it in Canva. And I will also show you my Gmail calendars as well. Um, so making sure that your values and your goals are all aligned uh, and that everything's in there. So take a daily planner and doodle your ideal day. Just doodle it. Like if money wasn't an option, doodle from the time you wake up till the time you go to bed. How do, would you like to, to run your day? Okay. Now, some of you are morning people, some of you are evening people, and that's absolutely okay. I'm creative in the morning. I'm less creative in the afternoon, which means I structure my day in a way where I'm not going to have creative tasks at the end of the day. Most people will find that you cannot get a strategy session with me after three o'clock in the afternoon um, because I'm just less, less e efficient at that time of the day. So that's how I structure my day. And I encourage you to do the same thing. So number two then is making sure then that you factor into that day all the business things that you need to do. So what are the key tasks that you need to do in order to make your business successful? So there are things like working in your business. So the what do you need to do to work in your business? So for me, that's actually running my strategy sessions. That's running this session. That's working in my business. It's the doing of what I do. It's the, it's the marketing strategies and working with clients. That's the working in. But then there's the working on my business. So for me, I call that business development. And for that, it is sales calls. It's doing webinars. It is presenting. It is networking. And that is a, a different color in my diary, and that's business development. And you have to have the business development in there, and you've got to have the working in the business in there as well. Then there's other things that need to happen. So, for example, like um, team training, project management, um, that needs to happen inside your business as well, which is a whole new thing if you've got staff or, for example, you need product development. These are all additional things that you need to put it in. So it depends on your industry. It depends what your business is. But you've got to look at the key things that need to happen on an ongoing basis and make sure that your days are set up for that. All right. So your second task then would be going and looking at your ideal day, having all the things that you personally want in your day in all the right order, and then merging all the business things that you need to do to fit into that day so that you've got adequate rest, adequate, adequate time to think, adequate time to plan, uh, create your marketing, manage your marketing, come up with new uh, marketing strategies, as well as do the management, run the staff. Um, and of course, as I said, make sure that, you, that the stuff that you need to do to take care of yourself is in there as well, including lunch breaks as well. So number three is then making sure that um, that your marketing campaigns are, are in there as well. So campaigns are like campaigns are different to content. Content for me is your ongoing no no like and trust. Ongoing every single day we've got to be on social media. We've got to be doing online marketing every single day. It has to happen right, um, and it just has to. It, it it's just we we live in a world right now where if you don't, you're just going to get lost. So that is your ongoing content and that needs to happen on an ongoing basis. The purpose of that is to develop no like, and trust. Campaigns, however, are to push people towards one specific goal. So it would be a themed thing, a seasonal thing, like a Black Friday sale, a go get back to school sale, an apps, a campaign which is focused on one area that's going to push people towards things. So we want to make sure that we go into our, our, our annual calendar and from January to December, we've mapped out that according to our industry, what specific seasonal things, topical things need to go in there. So for example, in January, it might be back to school. It could be, um, if it's teachers, it could be back to school. It could be equipment. It could be teachers. It could be Australia Day if you're in Australia. It could be New Year, New You, and fitness and health orientated. Um, depending on your industry, you would go in and go, right, right. what in January 
do we not need to sell and need to promote? And focus on putting that into your um, annual calendar. And then it's the consistent content strategy that you need to do. So making sure that once you've got your campaigns, what are the ongoing things that you're going to do, like reels, stories, videos, lead magnets, blog posts, email marketing, all these things that are that need to go out to continue the no, the no like, and trust. And that's your ongoing content management and the strategy of that. Um, so for me, it's around the 21 content ideas um, that I often talk about. Um, and if you do go on to chantelgerardi.com.au and go to free resources and go to the blog section, you uh, no, not the blog section, go to the free resources section, you can download the content plan there. For our live audience, um, I can simply send that to you as well as um, all the other resources that go with that. But it gives you the 21 content ideas that you on an ongoing basis need to be pushing out to support the campaigns that you are running. This is going to help build awareness, engage your audience and establish your business as a thought leader in your industry. And at the end of the day, it's whoever does it best gets the client, right? So your task is to go map out your annual se annual seasonal holidays and themes according to your industry and customers. And then block out times when you're away and you will not be running campaigns or where you need to get someone to run a campaign because you won't be here. Sorry, I'm puppy sitting and the puppy is moaning to go out after I just let it out two seconds ago. Um, and then your third task would be then to make sure that you fill in your content plan around it to support the campaigns so that you can continue to know, like, and trust and push people into those campaigns. Um, make sure that your, uh, your, your last task is to make sure that that plan is accessible to you um, and that it's accessible to whoever is managing your social media and email marketing campaigns so that you are working congruently in your social media and your email marketing. So you, move, so you are working congruently um, and everyone knows in your business what you are working on at the moment. Now, OBM Hub has a planner. Uh, Canva has a planner. You can map it out in your project management system like Trello. Um, uh, and as I said, our live audience, I'm going to show you how I've done it. All right. So super, super important. Seasonal content is super important because it makes sure that you are relevant and in, that you are relevant and you are engaging with your audience in a meaningful way throughout the year. It's making sure that you align your content with the holidays, the events and the trends within your industry so that it is received well. OK, and then making sure that you have a repurposing strategy so you're able to take that content and put it into blog posts, reels, stories, um, and be able to take that content, repurpose it, and then throughout the year be able to use that content. So we want to make sure that your contents and your campaigns are obviously relevant, and we want to make sure that you are um, consistently doing it on an ongoing basis. Seasonal content acts like um, seasonal content acts like changing seasons. It brings variety and freshness to your audience, and repurposing is like compost. It enrich it, it enriches your content's longevity and effectiveness. Without these essential elements, your content garden may dwindle and fail it and fail to capture the attention and fail to get the sales that you can get. All right, so as I said, we want to make sure that we are aligning your personal values with your business goals so that you can stay ahead of the curve in your marketing and you can create a thriving business that brings you joy and fulfillment while reaping the rewards and gaining success. So we're going to say goodbye to those that are watching online. Uh, if you wish to be part of the live audience and do the practical session that's about to happen, as well as get all the additional resources, you do need to be a client or a VIP, and you can find the link and details in the comments below.